tried hitting it and shaking it and yelling at it, but no wind comes out. Mm-hmm. Well, Babs, Susie, new to the species. <laughs> Call me crazy, but did you ever think to push this little button? It's called the on switch, dearest. It's really very simple. You just... <laughs> Dr. Steggy, explain how shooting us into space will help rid dinosaur society of the mankind scourge. The humans elude you at every turn. They're so hard to find, you'd almost believe they vanished. But I know they are out there. You will orbit the Earth in your spacecraft and carefully monitor the X-Zone for any human activity. From up there, those little mankind's got nowhere to hide. Exactly, Mr. Cutter. Your spaceship is equipped with the latest pinpoint accurate photon laser gun. Use it, gentle souls, with extreme prejudice. Hey, now, wait a minute, Dr. Steggy. I mean, I'll help annihilate the entire human race. I got no problem with that. But I will never be prejudiced against anyone. That would be wrong. He just means use the laser lot, squad. Blow up a lot of things. Oh, right. Okay. Blast them all! Let the archaeologists sort them out! Ah, ow, get them up! Get them up! Thanks again, Babs. It sure was nice of you to trade our year's supply of food for your magic twig that makes wishes come true. Glad to help, Scooter. Just remember, use the magic twig wisely. My own magic twig. I wish Bill were here to see this. Hurting when stop. All the hurting's just about to stop, Bill. It works. My magic twig works. I wished you were here, and here you are. And where did you get this, this magic twig? From Babs. She's so nice. She traded it to me for our entire food supply. Are we lucky or what? <laughs> No, Scooter, you doofus! She tricked you! This isn't any magic twig, you trilobite! If this were a magic twig, the first thing I would wish is that you are gone! Hey! Ah! Magic twig works! Really works! Must find it! on the launch pad, sir. All systems are go for launch. Oh, that little oil leak, sir. <laughs> oh, wait, no. We're having trouble opening the main hatch, though we lock the keys inside. Oh, no problem. Help me with this, will you? Oh, man. I think I've got origami poisoning. What a perfect hiding place, so putrefied one. Yes, Biff. Our evil plan to stow away and then overtake the Thunder Lizard ship so we may confiscate the terrible laser to use on Jurassic City is proceeding nicely. Yes, Your Wretchedness. We have boarded the space vessel completely undetected. Can I get you stowaways anything before liftoff? Coffee, tea, milk? Uh, no thank you. <laughs> We're fine. Maybe later. <laughs> Systems are go. Hey! Yes, yes sir, sir, Doc. Whatever, whatever you, you say, say Doc. Doc. We're, We're ready, ready and awake, Mommy. Mommy. I, mean, I mean, Doc. We are in orbit over the X zone. It is time to set up the terrible laser. Squad, dispose of this for me, please. Sure. <laughs> Pretty fancy for a trash can, guys. It's not a trash can, Squad. It's an atom smasher. This thing breaks down the molecular base of the trash, so it's converted into its most compact and disposable state. Watch. Huh. Very interesting. So true trash molecules, when broken down, look very similar to our Thuggasaur foes. We always do Thuggasaurs with garbage to the core, Squat. Come on, let's help Doc set up the laser. I can feel without your mildness. 
It appears something's wrong. Just as I feared. Our targeting radio transmitter was apparently damaged during launch. One of us will have to risk his very life and take a spacewalk to repair the damage. We'll need a volunteer. Oh! oh, come on, you guys! I'm afraid of heights! <laughs> And we'll let you back in. Oh, man! Magic twig! Magic twig! My magic twig! Oh, no, nothing can ever hurt me again! <laughs> oh, that's better. I... Ah! Ah! Curse this evolution thing! Okay, Doc, try it now. That pathetic little excuse for a genetic nightmare, Doc. Let me blast him. Can I, Doc? Huh? No, Cutter. I think it would only be fair to let Squat have the honors. You're right, Doc. I'll go let him in. Doc, what do you make of this crazy thing? It's as if the hatch has been sabotaging. Ridiculous, Cutter. Who would do such a thing? Who would do? This planet is a madhouse! But now I have you, my magic twig. You're going to make it all better. But first, I'm freezing. I'm freezing. Must make a fire. How does Babs do this? I'm sure she said if you rub two ticks together, it makes fire. I'm afraid your laser is pointed in the wrong direction, Thunder Lizards. We think it should be pointed at Jurassic City. Well then, Bone Boys, let me help you point it in the right way. Swing your partner. And do -si do Doc! <laughs> Something tells me that wasn't a good thing. Oh, I'm just gonna freeze to death. Why? Why? Why is life so hard? I wish I could just have a fire and not have to work for it. It worked again. My wish came true. Danger, danger, William Robinson. Who was William Robinson? Doc, the bone baddies are sealed up in the escape pod. Cutter. I can reprogram the escape pod specter from here. You work on sealing that blast so that we may restabilize the ship. You got it, Doc! Prepare for re-entry. It's going to be a little rougher than usual. Okay, Doc. I just wish there was some way we could get that outside hatch open. Squat, are you okay out there? You know what they say, Doc. When life gives you lemons, you have your cake and eat it too. Or something. Yahoo! Oh, you glorious magic twig. You're real. Anything I wish for, you'll make happen. And now, Scooter's gone, so I can enjoy it all alone. Oh, this is wonderful. I wish that little doofus Scooter could see me now. No, I mean, I mean, I wish Scooter was... There you are. I was looking all over for you. No! I didn't mean that last wish. I please just make Scooter go. So, did you miss me? I got stuck to a tree slug and wandered all around looking for you. I had time to rethink Bab's hairdryer. Here, try it out. Here we go. Isn't this great? What a 